new Pokemon cards. Let's go. Gotta catch them all Pokemon fans, welcome to another Placecape Games video. I am so incredibly hyped right now, we finally get to open Brilliant Stars, the brand new Pokemon trading card game set releasing worldwide on February 25th. We had a box left after, after pre-release, so the sneak peek unofficial pre-release set we held, so let's open some Brilliant Stars and an entire booster box. Please remember we still have some booster boxes available on our website, placecapegames.com, and also some booster packs left for our box break on the uh, the, the coming Wednesday, I want to say, is for our box breaks. Please click the link in the description, check out uh, placegames.com and check out our stuff. So we'll show off the, the box. Um, Constellations align in a show of force. How um, spicy. Yeah. Well, so this is all about the Pokemon V-Star. So we want to find a Charizard V-Star, Arceus V-Star. They're the big ones. Um, showing all the art in there. There's Charizard. There's Arceus. There's Whimsicott. Where's Shaman? Shaman's at the top somewhere. There's Shaman. But yeah, let's just crack into... You're not here to see... Um, to read things. You're here to uh, see some packs open and get some WTF Epic pulls. So um, this one's not very good for a sealed collection either. But that's just the way they're kind of bunged into the um, build and battle boxes. So hopefully the ones that come out of the... You know, when we get our orders in next week from our distributor, they'll be um, they'll be a lot nicer. I'll show you how the, the um, display looks as well. It's always nice to see see the uh, see the display. So, um, should we put these up here? Should we put this? Let's put this up up here just so you can see the packs still kind of. And let's let's open some booster packs. So let's uh, should probably just get these out first. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we'll see. We'll see which box half of the box wins. So this is the right half, and we'll do the left half in a moment. But yes, I am so hyped for um, for brilliant stars. And um, there's just so many epic cards in this set. Um, obviously, we want to pull that um, rainbow rare Charizard V Star, and we also want to pull that like, some of the Arceus cards. So we um, still need to um, pull the some Arceus V Stars for our for our decks because we we're planning to play a lot of brilliant um, Pokemon card game tournaments and matches in the um, in the Brilliant Stars format. So we need to uh, oh first pack we got. I'm just so excited. Sorry, first pack we get a character rare. So you can see um, I don't know if you can see at the bottom there. Probably won't be able to on this camera, but it says TG12, um, which is the trainer gallery. Um, so these are in the reverse hollow spot. So even if you get a um, well, that's actually still a good code, so there's probably something under here, but um, yeah, each one features like a trainer card, uh, a Pokemon card, and their trainer, so these are going to be very popular. So they're in the reverse holo, so you get like two to three on these per box, plus all your regular hits, and a Infernape holo. So nothing too exciting about that Infernape, but I absolutely just love these character rares. We're hoping to pull the one of the Evolutions or potentially like the Houndoom for our decks. This one's got like a bit of, um, it's quite hard, again, it's quite hard to tell on it. There's a bit of like whitening on the left side, but um, like I play Oranguru in my Zashin deck, so I might be tempted to tempted to put that in there. So I also need a few of the codes for my um, upcoming Twitch stream. So probably on, um, probably on Wednesday, we're going to, um, Wednesday or Tuesday, hopefully, we're going to stream Brilliant Stars on Twitch. So you get to see me open up the new... Um, packs on Twitch, um, reprint of Ultra Ball, very good card for decks. Make sure you save these if you are, you know, building decks because you're going to need a lot of these. In, <laughs> there's a new Bidoof as well. You're going to need a lot of these in upcoming decks uh, going forward. But um, yes, I am so hyped for Brilliant Stars. Um, it's probably on par with Evolving Skies. Maybe even because of the getting the you know the bonus character rares that you can get like three to four of those per box with including the um, you know other cards from the from the uh, trainers gallery. You know, I I would say. It's probably on par or maybe even better than Evolving Skies as a set as a whole. Like, I'm just so excited for um, for, Evol for Brilliant Stars. I almost said Evolving Skies. I'm so excited for Brilliant Stars. And I can't wait to see this. This art is just insane. Again, probably the camera doesn't do it justice. But the background on this is just absolutely, absolutely crazy. I love this magma. Um, it's a new artist and, uh, and a new Mewtwo as well. Unfortunately, non hollow But yeah, new artist and I really like like the artist and hopefully see more of them in the future. But yeah, I'm, I'm super hyped for Brilliant Stars. It's probably going to be a better set overall than... Um, it's probably going to be a better set overall than Brilliant Star than Evolving Skies. Just because of how big Evolving Skies... Obviously, Brilliant Star still has um, 172 plus secret rares. It's still quite a big... One put trainers go there. It's still quite a big set as a whole, but... Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just a bit more hyped for... Oh, So a lot of people saying, oh, why is Mimikyu V in here? Well, this is... Um, this may look like um, the same Mimikyu V from Battle Styles, but it's actually... Um, 
from um, from Brilliant Stars. This is number sixty eight. Unfortunately, they got they kept the same art. Reason that it's in there is because um, um, there is a Mimikyu V Max in the set, and obviously you need if you're playing like a draft, if you're you know making making a deck with Mimikyu V Max, they obviously want Mimikyu V Max to um, you know still be playable if, if if you if you end up getting it. So they they put the, the it's a bit of a cop out. They put the um, the Mimikyu V um, in there, which just kind of takes the place of potentially that could have been like an Arceus V or a Charizard V, which is a bit sad. But maybe we'll maybe we'll still get those later. Who knows? Executor and a go look. But uh, we've got a lot of box to get through. But so, yeah, please also remember to leave a comment below. Um, what card have you seen the Brilliant Stars set list? You know, what card from Brilliant Stars are you excited to try and pull and you know get the epic pulls? I'd love to know. You know what you're doing. What you're kind of what your thoughts are about Brilliant Stars. Um, the more of you that comment on the video, it really does help. And, um, you know, we helps build the channel. Like, I haven't, unfortunately, because of how busy I've been, like, the past couple of weeks, um, I haven't been able to upload anywhere near as much as I'd like. But thank you to those, you know, to those lovely people who um, subscribed after London Anime and Gaming Convention. So we were there on the um, previous weekend, and we had a great time. We saw a whole bunch of you. Um, my friend Camillo was with me. Big shout out to Camillo, the biggest Raticate fan in the world. Um, there, he had, he had a great time as well, and you know it was it was you know it was a, it was a good thing. Um, that Tall Terror is actually really good, so it can do 50 damage for every evolution Pokemon. So if you've got like multiple Tall Terrors, maybe a Cherim, ah, what's this? You may say. So I get a lot of people ask me questions about this. So this is the V Star marker. So you flip it over, and when you're when you have a V Star Pokemon, Charizard V Star, Arceus V Star, you flip it over. You have it on the table. You flip it over once during once during your game. You can use the V Star's Pokemon, very special V Star like um, power that they have. So. Um, that's obviously useful if you are running a V-Star deck. Before, we used to have GX counters. Um, they didn't used to have GX cards inside the, um, like, GX tokens inside the deck. So now that they put those inside the, um, inside the booster pack. <laughs> Let's go. Speaking of V-Star. Okay, so you got your Charizard V-Star. You've attached a bunch of energies to it. And then you can just, bam, flip that over. And then you're doing 320 damage with your... With your Charizard V Star, that is absolutely busted. But yeah, this is the V Star, the regular V Star that you want to pull, or the Arceus. Um, so the Charizard V Star is not as powerful as the Arceus, just because it needs a lot of energy to attack. But it's still a Charizard V Star. This is still going for over thirty pounds, like forty US dollars in the UK at the moment. So it's it's still like super popular. Um, centering wise, it's a bit. Um, it's a bit thick. You can't really see it on this camera. It's a bit thicker on the top, but I'm still super happy that um, off our regular V-Star probably... I mean, probably we might get another regular V-Star or a Rainbow one if we're lucky, but our regular V-Star for the box is the is the Charizard V-Star. Very happy for that. So, good start for the um, for the right-hand side of the... Right-hand side of the box. Very happy to see that. But, um, yeah, I haven't tested Charizard V-Star yet, but I have been testing a bunch of other... Um, bunch of other new decks for um, you know for the upcoming Brilliant Stars format. So there's a big regional in Liverpool, um, Salt Lake City. If you're in the United States and Utah, I might be going to that if it goes ahead. Like um, very excited to you know test test some new decks and you know see how they go. So I've been I've got the lovely Patrick, Camillo, and Brian from the local area. We are. Um, doing a lot of best of threes, getting ready for the new format, and as always, it's not obvious. To, it's not like nobody needs to really kind of guess that you know Mew V Max is still very, very much one of the strongest decks. Um, like I'm not going to spoil too much until like PECGO live goes. Once we PECG, you know the new, um, the new, the new packs, the codes go live on on PECGO and, and on your know, stream it. You can see some of the decks that I'm going to potentially stream, try out some new ideas, but. Um, it, I'm having a great time with um, Brilliant Stars. It, it makes it the standard format feels a lot more balanced, I would say, because yes, Mew is still the strongest deck, but there are other there are more ways to kind of deal with it now. And you know, um, yeah, I, I'm excited to you know see how the Brilliant Stars you know decks and the meta goes once once the once the cards are legal, like midway through March, like just before I think just before Salt Lake or close close to Salt Lake regionals, but. Uh, yeah, please leave a comment below. You know, are you a Pokemon TCG player? Are you, you know, excited to see, you know, what cards are in, you know, future Brilliant Stars? What deck do you want to build? So that here's the same artist of the Magma. It's not as nice as the Magma, but um, Shinda Kanda. I tagged them on Twitter when I saw... What? 
How do we get two of the same? I've never seen... I have not seen that yet. I've not seen too many... I've not seen too many booster boxes opened, but that to get to get two of the same character rare, that's a bit strange. And the Lucario, this is similar to the Charizard from Team Up, where you can get two energies out of the deck and attach it to it. Um, not sure how viable it would be, but I have seen a list in Japan that plays that, and it got top four at a local event, so it might be one that I could um, you know test on my my Twitch stream when the new cards are live. So they're expected to you know they're expected to go live. Um, or double turbo energy, very useful for the new Arcus V Star. Um, so the new cards are expected to go live on Tuesdays. So normally they go live on Thursday on a Pokemon Trading Card Game Online, but um, apparently they're going live on Tuesday. So that's that's a good thing. Flygon V and a nice Reverse Hollow Professor Rowan. So now we've got three different professors to use. But um, yeah, so Flygon V is quite spicy. So um, it does 320 damage if they are a V Max. So 160 plus 160, you have to discard free energy. But maybe with the with the Arceus V Star, this could be quite a this could be quite a spicy little spicy little attacker to go um, alongside Arceus. You can power it up quite easily. Be interesting to see. Unfortunately, it's Fighting Grass. Um, Fighting Grass doesn't really fit in with Duraludon, so I think it needs to go in some kind of needs to go in some kind of other deck. I think, but um, yeah, we'll 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 see how we'll see how it goes. I've not tested uh, Fly. I've not tested Flygon yet. I'm not overly hyped with Flygon, but we have to see. You know, we have to see, you know, what comes from it. I'm not going to talk too much about competitiveness because most of the people on this channel will be casual collectors and buyers. But, um, yeah, I am very much excited. Um, we're going to be opening the um, the Elite Trainer Box. We're opening the Elite Trainer Box for Brilliant Stars, hopefully on Thursday or Friday. The launch day is Friday. But, um, yeah, we still also have the um, Elite Trainer Box in stock on our website, placegetgames.com. Click the link in the description. And, obviously... Um, box break. We're down to like the last twenty percent of the um, last twenty percent of the packs on the box break. So um, yeah, if you want to see, you know, your booster pack open live on our Twitch stream and bench barrier Manaphy, very strong, um, stops uh, Pokemon from hitting your bench if they got an attack. That's a really useful card. Um, if you want to see, you know, see more, see your packs open live and you get to keep all the hits and um, you know good, good atmosphere in the Twitch chat when we're opening the packs, please. You know, click the link below and check out my box break. But um, the we're down to like the last twenty percent of packs for the box break, so it's it's doing quite well. It's not going like as fast as the previous one, but um, I haven't been sort of pushing it and advertising. I haven't been streaming on Twitch as much and kind of like you know hyping it up as much as I usually would. But um, yeah, I'm I'm very happy to. Um, very happy that we'll, we, we you know, the majority, the vast majority of the packs will be sold and the box break will still go ahead regardless of if the last few packs don't sell because then I can always just open the packs myself or if someone wants to try and, um, you know, buy the packs whilst, oh, we've got another V-Star marker. Um, these are really useful because at tournaments you used to have to write GX on a piece of paper if a player forgot their, if they forgot their GX counter. So um, it's good to get more of these. But yeah, um, we'll be, um, we'll definitely, we'll, the box break will definitely be going ahead on Wednesday. Um, subject to any technical delays. Why is Rioli going there? I don't know. Um, so, so far, apart from that Charizard V-Star, which is a nice pool, the, the pools have been quite disappointing since then. We had... Uh, the Flygon and the, and the character are on Guru, but we still got half a box to go. This is a this is a mega video. Um, right, Let's see, let's, let's fast this one. Ah, uh, no, I was going to go for it fast, but the Moltres is quite useful in a fire deck. You can do ninety damage for one fire energy, and um, we use the new um, Magma Basin Magma Basin Stadium and a, you know Cynthia in a double turbo. Tether. Use the new Magma Basin Stadium, and you can um, you know get those. Uh, get those, uh, get that damage counter on the Moltres really easy and do um, do 90 damage. So yeah, last um, last half of the box. So so far, this is the this is like the first half. So that, that, if it wasn't for that Charizard V Star, it'd be an absolutely awful half of a box. But that's fine. So we still got um, another half a box to go. Let's see if we can um, finish with some WTF epic pulls. But um, Yes, I'm very excited for Brilliant Stars, if you can't tell. And then we've obviously got the big tournaments coming back up, so the Liverpool Regionals uh, towards the end of March. Um, if you are going to Liverpool Regionals, please, you know, feel free to say hello. Don't bite. Um, it's really, and a Simi CV. I thought it was a Charizard when I saw the fire. So, unfortunately, this is not very exciting. Uh, attaching two basic energies from your hands, your Pokemon's quite useful going second, but you need to have the fires in hand, obviously. So stuff like Arceus V-Star getting them out of the deck is a... Is a lot more is a lot more powerful than just um, than just you know attach them out of your hand because you need to have the fire energies in your hand and we haven't got like um, fiery fin or, or fire crystal at the moment so it makes it makes it a little bit more difficult in in our standard format but 
Um, still quite a fun card, and it does um, 90 plus 30 for every energy attached. Uh, I'm not very excited, but that's fine. But uh, yeah, please come say hello at Liverpool. So if you've not been to a Pokemon Regional before, normally they allow, allow spectators. I'm not sure if it's any different for... Um, for the Liverpool regionals, but um, there's usually a bunch of vendors. So normally Magic Man House are there. I can't say they'll be there this time, but um, the Magic Man House are often there. Like some more of the local people. Maybe there's any local gaming stores in in Liverpool. Maybe they'll be there. See how it goes. But um, yeah, I am very excited to you know be back walking down the aisle as the meme goes. Because like walking down the the aisles of rows of tables in the Pokemon tournaments is like. You know, walking down the aisle. And like, it's, just, it's a silly meme, but yeah, I like it. Um, a nice guard chomp hall. Unfortunately, Cynthia is not in this one. Um, people thought this would be quite good because you evolve it and it prevents it from being damaged. But it's a stage two, so the consistency is not going to be not going to be overly good. So that's most at the moment. I don't think there is a viable stage two attacker. Um, so you use Ludicolo in the Suicune deck, but you only need to evolve it for the, the ability. You only need to evolve it for the ability, and then you can. Um, you know, once you've evolved it for the ability, you're kind of, you don't really need, like, you're not attacking with it. You don't need to chain it quite a lot of the time. But, um, yeah, I'm not I'm not a massive fan of Stage 2 decks at the moment. But, obviously, Inteleon and the Drizzile engine, using the Shady Delians, Dealings and the Quick Shooting ability, ability from the um, Sword and Shield Drizzile and the Chilling Rain Inteleon, still very strong. And they're a Stage 2, and that's a Stage 2 that, you know, pops up in quite a lot of... Quite a lot of decks and lists at the moment, so definitely worth um, looking at those if you want to play a deck that still plays rare candy sometimes, but um, not not necessarily. You know, you need, you need to attack with the stage two, but maybe someone will make Torterra work. I don't know. I, I I'm just not overly optimistic at the moment. Right, we're really not doing too well with this last half of the box. These last few packs have been, I've seen some stacked boxes. So a friend the other day opened um, uh, one booster box and he got um, the. Hey, it's another V-Star marker. There we go. Pokemon V-Star. Um, he opened up um, a box and he got both the gold Arceus V-Star and the rainbow rare Charizard. Um, Charizard V-Star was absolutely insane. Lipard's quite cool. So it's like the old Zorak. You may discard a card from your hand and then draw two cards. So but it's obviously... Fortunately, it's got 100 HP. So you can't use it with level balls. So I'm not as excited as, say, Chinchino, which is... Effectively the same thing as it is the same thing as Chinchino. I don't know why they call Chinchino mate do. Um but yeah, um Lipard's core. Cool. You can use obviously you can use Lipard in Eternatus and you can't use Lipard in um uh, you can't use Lipard, you can't use um, Chinchino in Eternatus. So that's you know that's something for thing. So there's a, these this cup two's got like a massive bend on it. I don't know if you can see that there. That's weird. Maybe it's because of the way I opened the pack, I don't know. Hopefully the rare's okay we we've got like a rare or hollow. Nani? Oh, <laughs> let's go. This is the weirdest box so far. Oh my goodness. So I have no idea what's going on here. Look at this. What are the what are the odds on this? We might have got like the end and the start of an like, uncut sheet. That is just I've never seen that before. That is insane. But yeah, finally got an Arceus V from my deck. So I need like another three of these English Arceus Vs. The Trinity Charge going second. You can use the double turbo energy we got earlier. And you can get three energies out of your deck and power up like your your Pokemon, which is really good. And then um and you just obviously need the Arceus V to still charge up into your to evolve into your Arceus V style with the busted star birth ability. But what are the odds, guys, of pulling three of the same character rare? That is just bizarre. I'm glad it's Orangura, not like one of the ones that doesn't see any play. But um, it's not like it's three Eevees. If I had three Eevees, I'd be very happy right now. But um, it could, I guess it could be a lot worse. There are a lot worse character rares you can pull. Um, like the Ariados, that, that sees no play whatsoever. Nice Al Cream. This is by my favourite artist, Sal Sal. Um, in fact, whilst we're there, I'll show you. This thing I bought from Japan very briefly. Just look at this. Like, this is like giving away as a birthday present to people in Japan, but it's got the same artists. Like, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, just just a quick show, showing that off quickly. Just because there's no, this is this is replacing Pokey Post, and I haven't really got that much mail today, so there isn't really that much in the way of you know Pokey Post this week. But um, yeah, I I love Salsa so much. One of my favorite artists, and that Al Creamy is definitely going into my to my collection. But so uh, yeah, we need these last few. Need these last few packs to save us because um, I think we're still missing a secret rare because the Charizard doesn't count as a secret rare. It's just a V star. So like this is a wild card, but we've got four V. So we're due at least two 
like full arts or two like one or two secret rares or something from these last few packs. And we haven't had a character super rare. So the difference between a character super rare and a character rare. So these are character rares because they're regular regular Oranguru, regular kind of like Pokemon and stuff, but there is character super rares. Which is the V and V Maxes, such as the Umbreon V Max character, I'd absolutely love to pull, and um, like Sylveon V Max and stuff. So hopefully we can get one of those. That would be cool. Um, Muck, wow. So these last few packs have to be stacked. I think we still got like eight packs left to go. So hopefully we can finish with some WTF epic pulls. Please leave a comment below. You know what card do you want to pull from Brilliant Stars? Um, do you, are you excited for this set? Um, I've seen mixed reactions to like the like most of the cards, but obviously Arcus V Star is going to see it play in a lot of decks. I've been playing a lot of decks with Arcus V Star, so we got. And speaking of V Star, I, was, I saw the V Star and I thought it was the Arceus. Unfortunately, it's the Shaman, but still a cool pull. Um, Revenge Blast 120. What 40 more damage for every prize they take? So if they take five prizes, you can do. Um, 300 damage for two energy, uh, 280, something, something like that. You can do over 250 damage for two energy, so it's not bad. And um, healing 120 from oil grass Pokemon for often abilities, quite, quite a nice little, quite a nice little thing. But yeah, um, so far this the second half of the box isn't really, isn't really um giving us too much fire yet. So hopefully we can pull. So, so the left half of just the regular Charizard V Star at this rate might even just be the. Might even just be the winner of the, of the, you know, battling the half of the box against each other. But, uh, yes. Um, let's try and get our way through these last few packs. Bidoof. Everyone loves Bidoof. And there's a little Barry in the background there. Very nice. Hello. Ooh! Let's go. It's the secret rare. Um, well, trainer gallery. Golden. Single strike Urshifu VMAX. Anything epic with it? No, and a Wormadon. Oh, my goodness. So... Um, so basically, what this set is doing is mirroring battle styles that came out a year ago. So um, hopefully in the next one, we'll get the Shadow and the Ice Rider Calyrax, um, like gold cards. Um, oh, but there's like a weird... That's so quick. You can't really see it on here, but can we hit Can we hit the light? If you see how the light cap... Yeah, you can see that on the camera. Can you see there's like a weird line on there? So I don't know whether that's an indent or a bend. Um, I might just end up playing this in my deck just because if it grades, they might catch that. They, they might catch that um, that weird line that we got. But yeah, nice single strike Urshifu V Max, still very playable. I actually play that in my single strike Umbreon um, Urshifu deck at the moment. So I might replace one of my regular like non flex Urshifus with that gold one. So that I'm very happy to. Very happy to pull that. It probably means we won't get a character like V or V Max, but you never know. I've seen some crazy boxes, and um, it's never over until it's over. Wormadon and Dradagon. But we still got, wow, five packs left to go, guys. Let's see if we can get some epic pulls from these last five packs. Um, please leave a comment below. You know, um, what kind of what kind of Pokemon in the future would you like to see get a character rare? Would you like to see, um, you know? Like Mew, Mew V Max getting character super rares. Imagine if Mew and Mew V Max get character super rares. Oh my goodness, I would be such a happy boy. And then we got Dark Rye V Star coming out in the May set as well. It's all happening. So, yeah, lots more to come in 2022. People are saying, oh, but no way that Pokemon can top the 25th anniversary year. Bam! Brilliant stars with character rares and five Charizard cards. Bam! May set with Dark Rye V Star and even more character cards. And probably more stuff in the trainer gallery. Bam. Pokemon Go is getting a special mini set. Okay, we did that wrong. Pokemon Go is getting a special mini set in the, um, you know, in the, <laughs> in the, uh, in June. So, like, it, it's all happening. And that's only up until June. July is probably going to have um, more stupid things in it. In, in like, sort of July and the August set before the Pokemon World Championships, if it still goes ahead in London. Um, four V-Star markers. Not bad. Not bad. I'll, I'll take that. Um, so yeah, there's still lots to come for Pokemon in 2022. You know, as a whole, it would not surprise me if, if 2022 topped 2021. Ooh, let's go! We got another character and a Honchkrow V! So, it's quite cool. This allows you to have four tool cards attached, attached to it, and it pairs quite nicely with the, um... The little bug, Pachirisu. But, uh, it's a little squirrel thing, but look, we got a nice character, super rare... Um, Sonia with Bolton Fee. So you can see um, Sonia's there chilling with Boltons. Um, it's the Bolton V from Rebel Clash, but it's just beautiful. Thankfully, this one hasn't got that, that silly line on it that the... Um 
that the uh, gold Urshifu has on it. So as a whole, I'm very happy with this box. It was it wasn't too great. Like towards, I mean, obviously the Charizard was nice, but this is a this is a solid box. I'm still not sure what happened with those three Orangurus, and we've still got two packs. So um, let's see if we can get another bonus like V or some or a character super. We're going to get another character super rare because we just pulled the. Um, pulled the Sonya, but, um, the, the Bolton and Sonya, but maybe there'll be, like, another V or V-Star. Probably won't be another V-Star, maybe another regular V. Maybe we'll finish by pulling the regular Charizard V. That would be, that would be some last pack magic. Right, Charizard booster pack, Charizard V from the last pack. Let's go. Please remember, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of Brilliant Stars. Please remember to click the link and also check out our box breaks, um, for Brilliant Stars on the, on the, on the upcoming Wednesday, and also, um, check out you know the sealed products if you want to get yourself a booster box or an elite trainer box of brilliant stars um chai meko magma and an ice key to finish off but that's that's absolutely fine because we got some absolutely insane pulls so i mean i've no idea what happened here how we ended up with three monkeys but um it's all about these um character super rare charizard v star and gold urshifu cards that was a great box i'm very happy with that please leave a comment below like the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, check out our box breaks and our Brilliant Stars stuff on our website, playsgetgames.com. Thank you very much, and I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all. Thank you to these lovely people. They get exclusive market updates, Japanese buying guide videos, how to grade your cards directly with PSA, and all sorts. Please click the link below and check out the Playsgate Games Patreon. And I'll see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all.